Energy News first broke this story on Friday. Outrage in a tight knit community after a student with special needs was bullied by two of his classmates. The disturbing video of that incident went viral on social media. Kelly Kennedy back on the story tonight with an update on the newly launched criminal investigation and an interview you only see on just one station. The Canal Fulton Police Chief says their school resource officer just wrapped up an investigation into the alleged harassment of a student by two Northwest High School students. The chief says charges against both of those students are pending. Now, I spoke with the father of one of the alleged bullies, who also happens to be the president of the Northwest Local Board of Education. Our son was one of the students involved. Uh, made a very stupid mistake, and two minutes of stupidity has turned into an atomic bomb. Victor Coliani may be the school board president, but right now he's speaking to us as a father. Coliani is the father of a 16-year-old sophomore who he admits took part in the bullying of a freshman student with special needs. Taking a lot of heat on social media, rightfully so. Uh, he really regrets his decision, obviously. I've learned that two students encouraged the student to remove his own feces from the toilet with his hands. And while he did that, the students laughed and took a video, later sharing it on social media. We are not going to be showing the video in question. Would you say this incident is something that's out of character for your son? Absolutely. Uh, he, there's other special needs students in the school that he's friends with and actually has stuck up for them in the past, so it was really shocking to my wife and I that this actually happened. Canal Fulton Police Chief Sarah Wilson said their school resource officer worked with prosecutors from Stark County Juvenile Court to come up with the appropriate criminal charges for the two students. We kind of knew it was going to happen. We just didn't know when uh, or when it was going to come out, but we fully support that. Coliani says he did reach out to the student's family and asked for a time to meet with them so his son can apologize face to face. He said he's not sure when his son will return to school. Is your family receiving threats? Not threats directly as far as verbal, but on social media there's been a few. Um, disappointingly, some of it has come from adults. Coliani tells me he reached out to Gigi's Playhouse, a nonprofit that helps people with Down syndrome. He tells me he's meeting with their director this week to come up with a plan to better educate students. He says he also hopes that his son will be able to volunteer there. Reporting in Canal Fulton, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.